Hello everyone, this is your instructor Victor Campos and I'm going to show you a very useful tool that will come in handy for our class. So all you need is a web browser. I'm going to load up Internet Explorer and then you should go to this address office.live.com So we've been using Microsoft Office in our class and um, there is a version of it that is available online for free. Uh, all you need to do is log into the site, and then you can uh, you can use it. We'll we'll be creating an account here. But again, the way to find it is you can go to office.live.com. When you get here, then you have the option of using Word online, uh, Excel online, PowerPoint calendar other things and this is all free the only catch is that you need to either log in or create an account that's easy so if you've already got a hotmail account you can go to the top right and click sign in if you don't have a hotmail maybe gmail or yahoo mail or something then we have to create an account here i'll show you how to do that the benefit of this again is that this is a free version of of office um, that you have available. The downside is it's uh, you need to have an internet connection to use it and uh, also it doesn't have all of the features but pretty much all of them. So I'm going to go through this as if I am creating a new account. So at the top right corner I'm going to click on my account. It'll ask me sign in with a Microsoft account or a school or work account. A Microsoft account would be Hotmail, uh, Outlook, um, Skype, Xbox, that sort of thing. But I'm going to go through this as if I don't have one. So I will click Sign Up for a New Account. It's going to ask me uh, for a variety of things to fill out. Pretty easy. You can use any email addresses as the username for your new Microsoft account, including addresses from Outlook.com, Yahoo, or Gmail. If you already sign into a Windows PC, tablet, or phone, Xbox Live, Outlook.com, or OneDrive, use that account. So I'm going to make this up as a totally brand new account. So let's see here. I'll put in my name. What kind of username? Uh, I want to get a new email address. So I can choose from Outlook <coughs> or Hotmail. Um, I'll go with Hotmail. And I will create something here. Um, Instructor Victor C. That's available. OK, so I'm going to create that. Needs a password. Retype it. Check your country and zip code, birth date. All of this you can fill out to get access to the account. And um, you can make it all up if you just want to get into the account. That's fine. You, you just need to keep track of what email address you've got set up and your password. Now it, it, it'll ask for a phone number and such. Uh, for security, it says we want to make sure that a real person is creating an account. So I'm going to try to skip this for the moment. If I can't, then I'll plug it in, but just a moment. So um, I'm going to fill in these numbers. I don't want promotional offers. So it is asking for a phone number. This is to help your account keep it secure. I do recommend you use it because if you set this up right, you will have secure, more security on your account. And let's say you forgot your password. Well, if you still have your phone number, you'll be able to get a quick automated phone call to be able to retrieve your account. I think it's very useful. So I'm going to put in a phone number here, but I'm going to pause the recording for a moment.
All right, so I uh, created my account. It takes me here to my account, office products, etc. So at the very top right, now it's got my name to show that I have an account. Okay, well, back to back to the website again, office.live.com. Notice again at the top right it has my name. I have an account. So I've created a uh, an account here and I have access to all of these online office tools such as Word. So I'm going to click on Word. You've got a variety of templates to choose from. You can explore those on your own, but I'm going to go with New Blank Document. This will uh, this will then load up a blank document for Word Online that should look reminiscent to what you've been learning in this class. You've got the file menu, the home ribbon, etc., etc. You've got these groups. Again, it doesn't have everything that the Office 2013 has in class, but it has. Uh, most of it, so you can you can practice with it. Um, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times, and the variety of things that you've learned in the class you can apply here. For example, if it's too small, I can select it and make it a little larger. I can um, select individual words and italicize bold I can set background colors and font colors I can insert pictures like you've learned you can go to insert menu we have pages tables pictures you can upload a picture or clip art let's say I want clip art of a book there it is a book in my document now when you're using regular word on your computer you have to remember to save in Office Online, though, it's automatically always saving. You're not going to lose your work. I'll show you where that gets saved to in a moment. But if you notice at the very bottom here, it says Save to OneDrive. Again, I'll get back to that. But uh, my document is currently called Document. If I want to call it something else, I can click on the top here and call it, um, I don't know, Essay. There's my Essay. Down at the bottom, Saved. I don't have to really go out of my way to remember to save anything. It just saves. If I do go to the File menu, I have these options that might look familiar. Uh, notice there's no Save. There's only Save As. If I select Save As, uh, it says, where's the Save button? There's no Save button because we're automatically saving your document. So that's great. I never have to remember to save it, and it's always online in my uh, OneDrive account. I can download a copy of it, download it as a PDF. So if I select to download, uh, it's going to download where I can save it as a, a Word document. See that? It wants to download essay.docx. I can save it and open it and such on my computer. So I'm going to cancel that, close that. So I played with this just a little bit. You should too. And um, well, where did it save? At the top left, it says OneDrive and Documents. If I click Documents, that takes me to my files. So every OneDrive, every document that I save gets saved to my OneDrive, which is a really cool and free online storage. It's cloud storage. So you can create these essays, book reports, Excel documents, um, family budgets, etc., and have them saved online to your OneDrive 
which is part of Office Online, and you'll never lose it. You don't have to come with a flash drive from place to place. You can just save everything here, and as long as there's an internet connection, you'll have your uh, your documents. So there's a document that I that I had there. I can select easily at the top over here, create another Word document, an Excel workbook, a PowerPoint presentation, etc. I can upload files. I can share this file. I'm going to explore that for a moment. Um, I'm going to share this document. If you select it there, right? If you click on it, it opens it. But if you, I'm going to go back, but if you click on the little corner to select it, then I can set, for example, share. Invite people to essay.docx. Enter contacts to send an email with a link to this item. Connect your Facebook to send a link to your Facebook friends. So here I can send emails to people. and as many as I want. Give them a quick note and say, uh, check out my essay. It's a work in progress. Please help me work on it. And notice it says recipients can edit. So you can send this link to people that don't have Office and they're able to edit your document. Very cool. So I can uh, select to share and it'll go to them. But I won't because I don't know those people. Close that. So here I can select uh, to create an Excel workbook. And now I have Excel online. I can go to home here. And, um, you know, use Excel the same way. Let's say this is month, salary, expenses. I can say January, February. Remember these tricks where you can pull this down and it auto fills in and it's smart enough to do that. Let's say this month I got 1200 and then I got 1300 and then 1250 and then 1400 etc. What were my expenses? Let's say 800 and I was pretty cheap. The next month 700 then it got expensive again and 600 and you know you can do what the various things uh, in Excel that you've been learning. You can uh, select your your fields and we've got uh, let's see insert a uh, column a 2d column clustered column and there we go so there's a comparison of salary and expenses month by month notice it's dynamic so as soon as I fill something in chart updates. You can do the same thing here uh, to share the document that is. So if I select share, again, who do I share it with? Uh, I can get the link if I click get link and I can say uh, create a link to this to copy and paste onto your email. So people with this link can view it only, edit it, or it'll be public to everyone. Usually you want this to be editable, so you create the link and now you've got that link right there. You can shorten it. You've got that link right there, which will, um, anyone that you send this link to will be able to view your document, to edit it, um, and uh, collaborate on it. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to my documents. Notice I was looking at documents. Um, if I go back one more level, OneDrive, up here, this is one higher level where there's a little video you can watch about what is OneDrive. Um, and so OneDrive gives you various amounts of gigabytes of free space. 
uh, you get 15 gigabytes of storage and you can earn uh, an extra 8 gigabytes by following these steps. So anyway, I've got a folder here for documents and pictures. I can go to pictures and then upload a picture and have it safe, safe up on my on my cloud storage. Uh, only I will have access to it. Back to documents here. And I've got two documents so far. That's still called book one. And this will tell me uh, whatever you've shared, recent documents, etc. So I can always click to go back there too. And I can click on the top left to show me all my apps to go to them quickly. So you can explore the other ones on your own. You can save your contacts, create a calendar, etc. And all of that is found through, um, uh, through our address live. What was it called again? Oh yeah, office.live.com. Or I remember it also this way because it's all stored in one place. You can always go to uh, OneDrive.com. Same thing. Different ways to get to the same thing. So that's what I wanted to show you today. This is uh, using Office Online as part of OneDrive, free cloud storage and Office in the cloud. And I really recommend you check this out. Uh, it's something very useful. I use it all the time. I back up my, my important documents here. It's very convenient. I don't have to walk around with a flash drive. If I lose my flash drive, I lost my documents. Uh, but this is a place to make backups. You've got an important resume and, and your computer's on the fritz. Well, you upload your resume here. Uh, and then you'll be able to keep it safe on your... Uh, on your OneDrive. So, you know, I can select some sort of document to upload. Like, let's say, this picture. I simply clicked at the top to upload, and it gives me the feedback that it's uploading. It finished uploading. There it is, my picture has been uploaded. Well, maybe that picture should go into pictures, so I'll just put it into pictures. Drag and drop. So now my pictures folder has a picture. I'm gonna go back. Here I can create folders also. Notice I've got a button at the top left to create folder. Uh, you can uh, also right click, kind of like on, on the desktop or, or regular windows. I can right click an empty spot and select to create a folder. I'm going to call it uh, resumes. Resume. I'll create that. So in that folder, I can go in there and start to create Word documents for my resume. So very useful. I'm going to close these tabs up on top here. And when I'm done with it, remember it's all updating itself. And when I'm done, I can just click Sign Out. And I've signed out, and I can um, come back to it whenever I want. Either to OneDrive.com or Office.Live.com. So there you go. Enjoy.